Hello, hello everyone. You're warmly welcome back to this edition of A Positive Word. I thank you for joining me, helping others. That's the focus for this session today. I know we live in a world where self, focusing on the self, is the other of the day. Everyone wants to just please self, be worshipped, be adored, and tend to not want to do anything for anybody else. But we know we can't do that. There are needy people out there whose situations are much worse than ours. So we must feel inclined to want to help. We're told in Hebrews chapter 13 verse 16. Do not neglect to do what is good and to share. For God is pleased with such sacrifice. This is do not neglect. We mustn't neglect. We mustn't abandon our duties to the needy people around us, to be good to, and kind to them, to show compassion and to share. Sharing depends on what the need is. Share with those in need. When we do this, we please God. God gets delighted. Forget about the blessings that come. Wouldn't you want to be one of those who make God pleased? In a time when to satisfy this flesh is at, a, at an all-time high. That level is so high that I, I don't even know what to compare it with. Who would you please? God or yourself? The outcome of pleasing self might bring instant gratification, recognition, pride. You know, those warm feelings of being recognized, of being, you know, of having whatever you have done to please yourself. However, the rewards of pleasing, pleasing God go on for a lifetime. I would rather aim for being blessed all my life than to have momentary satisfaction. At different stages in life, our roles are reversed. We are either helping the needy or we are the recipients of help in one way or another. Yes, we would be in need as well as sometimes. And the need doesn't have to be financial. So let us not always run to finance. Needs come in different shapes and sizes and forms. I totally agree that the poor or needy people will always be around. So also will the rich and those who have all they need. If that's the fact, do we ignore the few? who we encounter just because we know that the, the needy people would always be around. The word of God says to not forget. That means we must always remember to do good and share. Sharing depends largely on what the need is, what is available to share, what the helper can afford, and the willingness to share. May more people be willing to release themselves and allow God to direct them to those, that individual, family or group that they can be blessings to. Be reminded, my friend, that in helping others, we invariably help ourselves and help our societies to keep moving forward. I leave you today hoping that you will do your part in helping someone as you are led by God to do. I thank you for joining me today. Until I come your way again, it's goodbye for now. God bless you as you help someone.